this um, tile and oh, we're doing multiple things actually. We're doing this on a shower floor. Doing a next to the bathroom, a vinyl and some chairs. Yeah, some water deposits and so there's gonna be some reaction. We're using slightly acidic. I'm trying to be careful around the marble walls. So I'm just gonna do it by hand basically to you know control the splashing just because of the marble. Now I still can remove the edge marks if I cause any, but yeah, I shouldn't cause any. Yeah, the water deposits are mainly in this area. So as you can see, uh, still reacting, but it's gonna look great. So I'm just gonna agitate it. Let it well for about 20 minutes, then scrub it again and I'll fix the missing ground right there. And they have a hole in the marble right there. I'm gonna patch, I'm gonna miss the epoxy and fix it. So there's some water deposits in the corners and stuff, so you kind of have to use a, uh, a brush and sometimes use uh, this tool just to kind of shape up the, uh, the thin layer just gently so you don't run into any ground. But yeah, it's so much better. It's like 99% better. So I'm just gonna keep working at it. So all the water deposits from the crowd is gone. It's just little corners and stuff. So I'll work on that and then we're gonna dry it and seal it and uh, we'll show you the uh, afterwards. I'm gonna dry the ground and then I'm gonna seal it. So there are some settlement cracks. So we're gonna uh, patch it. And, um, yeah, it's always like this with new constructions. Um, when the floor settles down, you're gonna get a, a little crack, so which uh, will have to be filled. Just uh, gonna make some resin uh, for the gray marble. I'm gonna use a gray dye. Um, just mix it, then hardener blade. Uh, to uh, apply it, so I'm just gonna mix it. I don't need uh, that much, just a little bit. It's tiny. Yeah, I'm gonna need both hands, um, but I'll be back. All right, mix it. Build it. So we're doing these chairs and we're doing the vinyl floor as well. Starting with these. Yep.
That's coming from the dining chairs. Kind of yellowish. Oh. So all these uh, spots, they're usually oil-based uh, um, spots, uh, usually from like uh, food, uh, salad dressings and stuff. So you need to use POG to remove those. Sometimes I even use like 70% uh, alcohol, but with that you just have to let it dwell for maybe an hour. This is uh, much faster. And then you have to rinse it with uh, alcohol, rubbing alcohol. So we have some tough stains. We have to apply a, a more uh, aggressive uh, um, solvent. So. Oh no, that's okay. okay. <laughs> I'm in most of those videos anyway, so people know me. Yeah. But they look good. Yeah, these two spots are kind of stubborn. So we have to work on it. Sometimes you have to do it, you know, multiple times, you know, the application and just let it dwell. And then come back to it, rinse it, and again, come back to it. And, you know, but these are drying nicely in the sun. And uh, we've got, uh, one more right here that is drying nicely too. Getting the cocktail ready for uh, the Italian grout and for the vinyl. Yeah, the vinyl is kind of saturated. I mean, saturated, pretty dirty, and uh, lots of grease. Yeah, we're done with the chairs. There's only one spot that is still remaining. So we just applied um, the super spotter. It's a uh, solvent uh, based spotter. Uh, we're just gonna let it dwell and then see what comes up. Uh, then we have to uh, rinse it out because uh, there's gonna be residue. So we have to rinse it out properly. And uh, we're gonna hit the floors in the bathrooms. So here we're just using alkaline so we don't have to worry about the marble. Alkaline will not etch it. Oh, this toilet. 
Chocolate is done. No more yellow silicone. And we're fixing the one around the bathtub or along the bathtub, the bottom. It was pretty ugly. Yeah, we didn't quote her to do that, but we'll just do it. Much brighter.